What's up, everybody? Today is Friday, September 20th. I am going to get into these stats with you, Conejo Valley, Simi Valley, and Moore Park for the last seven days. Coming soon, seven, new listing, 44, price change, 54, back on market, 11, active under contract, 41, pending, 33, closed. The real number is 36 as the glitch continues. Expired, five, canceled, 13, hold, four, and withdrawn, three. All right, everybody. So the new listings number at 44, these are the homes that have just hit the market versus the active under contract. The active under contract, remember, these are the sellers that have a buyer that has just gotten an offer accepted. They're starting their inspections. It's the first seven days of escrow. We like this number compared to this new listings number because these are the sellers that just accepted an offer. So what we see here is that the new listings number at 44 is only three higher than the active under contract number. This means that homes are coming on the market and selling almost just as fast as they're coming on the market. Pendings at 33 is strong considering the fact that the active under contract is at 41. And then the close number at 36 shows strength also because that means, you know, only a very small uh, percentage of deals are falling out of escrow. All right, let's take a quick look at where this new inventory has come from. Let me adjust the screen and make this more organized for everybody. All right, we have, what is that, four in Moore Park. We have a handful, three, six, maybe that's nine or 10 in Newberry Park. We've got a bunch in Simi Valley, a bunch of new inventory in Simi Valley, three in Thousand Oaks. And look at this, folks, Westlake Village coming in hot with three, six, nine, 10, 11 new listings in Westlake Village. All right, let's take a look at the mortgage interest rates. Now, I'm sure everybody heard the news on Wednesday that the Fed uh, cut the federal interest rate by 50 basis points. And I want everybody to know that the federal interest rate is not tied to the mortgage rate, okay? They're completely separate. Um, mortgage rates are tied to mortgage-backed securities, not the federal interest rate. All right, so the 30-year fixed today is up 0 0.02, which is nothing, to 6.17. So now you can get a loan, 6.17. You could pay some points and get into the fives. 15-year fixed is at 5.65%. 30-year jumbo is at 6.4%. Seven and six SOFR arm is at 6.14%. 30-year FHA is at 5.72%. And the 30-year VA is at 5.75%. All right, folks, so even though the Fed cut the, the federal interest rate by 50 basis points, the next day mortgage interest rates went up. It's still not bad that the Fed cut rates. Mortgage rates are going to be coming down, okay? They're over time, they're going to be coming down. So what does that mean for you? If you're a seller, that means there's going to be a bigger pool of buyers available to you uh, while your house is for sale. If you're a buyer, it's going to mean that you have more affordability. You will be able to afford more home. Well, and what will happen with the market? We will have to wait and see. I don't have a crystal ball. But if the stats continue like this, where the trend is a house comes on and a house sells, and then all of a sudden interest rates drop and more buyers become available, it's going to start leading towards a seller's market again. Unless more sellers are willing to leave their 3%, 2%, 4% interest rate to trade for that mid to high five interest rate. Then we could see more inventory, more balance to the market, and it could shift either way. So I am so eager to hear your plans for the rest of 2024 and 2025 in real estate. So please give me a call. Please shoot me a text. Please send me an email. I would love to talk to you. I'd love to help you with whatever questions you may have. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Josh Brenner with Compass in Westlake Village. And if you like information about real estate, please like and subscribe to my channel. And remember to get some exercise today, everybody. Make it a great day. Have a good one. Bye.